Hi y'all, it's Crystal Porter here. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Thanks for watching and welcome to our YouTube family. Please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Please click the bell to receive notifications of my upcoming videos. Please click the thumbs up button to like this video. Please share this video with everyone you know by clicking the share button. If you have any prayer request, anything that you would like us to be praying for you about on this channel, or if you've had any prayers answered on this channel, or if you would like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or if there's anything the Holy Spirit is telling you that needs to be placed on the channel, um, go ahead and comment those so we can do reports on them in our next videos. We are currently at 44 subscribers, a thousand are required, and 60 public watch hours and 4,000 are required to hashtag help where needed. That's where we're able to help you or someone that you know that is struggling financially right now once we're able to get monetized. So thank you for supporting me on it this channel and on this journey. Let's go ahead and get started in prayer by closing our eyes and bowing our heads. Come Lord Jesus, we just invite you into this video today to speak through me all that you have. And please um, give us wisdom and understanding about what we're able to read and how to apply it today as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us as we travel today, those around us, the animals as well. If there's anyone we need to pray for or speak encouraging words to or listen to, show us that person today. We pray that you forgive us and the world of its sins. And we ask that you show mercy on us and the world. And we pray that you hedge and protect us and our loved ones and our leaders and help us and our leaders to make godly choices and decisions for the betterment of us, our communities, and our world. We pray that you send down our guardian angels to protect us today. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us today. And we plead the blood of Jesus over us and our loved ones today. And we pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. And we thank you for that today. If there's anyone listening, Lord, that has not accepted you as their Lord and Savior and would like to do so today, we pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. We just thank you for that person listening right now. We pray that you guide them each and every day as they draw close to you and develop a relationship with you, Lord, and show them the gifts you've given them to bless others and help them to be obedient to you. We just thank you for them and praise your holy name for everyone listening here today. Just show them how special they are to you and the ones that really need to feel your love today. I pray that you show them your love in the way that only they know that it's you and they need to feel from you today and we thank you for that in Jesus mighty name thank you and pray amen all right so what we're gonna be reading today is what the Lord has to say about Genesis chapter 8 so please if you have your Bibles handy please go ahead and open them up now to Genesis chapter 8 and then we'll get started. 
All right. So Genesis chapter 8. And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth. And the waters assuaged the fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained and the waters returned from off the earth continually and after the end of the hundred and fifty days the waters were abated and the ark rested in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month upon the mountains of Ararat, And the waters ceased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, were the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he sent forth a raven, which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. And he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated. From off the face of the ground, but the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot. And she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand and took her, and pulled out her in unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet other seven days. And again he sent forth the dove out of the ark, and the came the dove came in to him in the evening, and, lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. So Noah knew that the waters were abated from off the earth, and he stayed yet other seven days, and sent forth the dove, which returned not again unto him any more. And it came to pass in the six hundredth and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from off the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked. And behold, the face of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the seventh and twentieth day of the month, was the earth dried. And God spoke unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, thou, and thy wife, and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee, of all flesh, both of fowl, and of cattle, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, that they may breed abundantly in the earth, and be fruitful, and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives with him, every beast, every creeping thing, and every fowl, and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds went forth out of the ark. And Noah built in an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar, and the Lord smelled a sweet Savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more every living thing, as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. 
So that was the end of Genesis chapter 8. And until next time, bye!